Hello, this is Doris. The, the, the three tapes I did before this, the personal tapes I told you about, the raven, the white teddy bear, and the half open rose, they were true for me. What I would like you to, to um, do with all those is actually add something black outside your house. Black is the color that can be used in front of your door, to the left of your door, and to the right of your door. All three will bring good luck to you. It's Feng Shui. I did do a series of Feng Shui on my tapes. You can go back to the playlist and find them if you're interested. Because there might be parts of your life that needs to be um, fixed up or improved. Okay, this is a story here of a little boy and his mom. Oh, there's so many stories about this little boy and this and his mom. One of them was he was getting ready for school one day, and she knew he was it was going to late. They're going to be late. He comes out around the corner, and he's wearing, well, he dressed himself. His underwear was on top of his pants, and his shirt was on backwards, and he was so proud that he, he, he the first time, he dressed himself. And she said, look at you. Oh, you did such a good job. Oh, my gosh, you dressed yourself. And he is so proud that he did it all by himself. And he's so proud. And then she said, oh, but, honey, you, we can't wear that today. Oh, yeah, we're going to go meet Grandma after school, and we need to wear something uh, warmer. And you know you can't wear that yellow shirt because... You, you know the bees are going to think you're a flower. And you don't want them to to upset the bees. So so she undressed him and dresses him with the other clothes on. But she was telling him the whole time that he did such a good job. This is one of those stories. This little boy and his mom would eat breakfast every day for many, many days in front of this window outside the street. They ate breakfast, and they tell, told stories every morning. Well, they moved away. The house was knocked down. But one day, the boy wanted to go back and, member, and memorize, and member, have his memories again of where they used to sit. But it's, it was rumble. It's not there no more. You know you can't sit in ashes or rumble. There was nothing left there no more. He remembered that time because he had such lovely memories. But he can no longer he could they're gone. The house is gone and they moved on. He realized that from the before and after. Now, when you look at a school system, depending on the child's age and how high he is, and depending on where the map on the board is looking at, children learn location, locations of things in the world. Now, I have a friend. Uh, she's 71, I believe now, and she went reads every newspaper out there every day they come to her house and she opens it up and she absorbs everything that's in there and um, oh no they're having a fight in Korea and they're doing a they're doing a, a kidnapping up in another state and they're doing all this and disaster 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 that's in the media now, remember when I said what happens above and below happens within and without. She believes all those tragedies all over the world. She's at an impressionable age. She's not a child no more. She's older. Now, you look at this map right here and pretend like there's a map of the world on, on it and pretend like you're that child. If they said there is a an explosion up in in 
New York. Would that give you not a headache? If they said there was something down south, would it not cause a reaction of a part of your body related to that correspondence to have a pain? To start. The school system and the media does use this. I just wanted to get this message out to you. So, the reason why I want you to keep the black in front of your house is to keep that area, the front of your house, always cleaned. The feng shui tapes I, I've done to how to clean the rest of your house and the rest of your body from what the media could be adding to problems. Just little things. Most things that they do, it's usually not out front. They're more, they're more sly than that. Usually if they do something, it's going to take about, take a while for it to cause a problem. But it depends on how impressionable you are from your past and how it's hard for you to let go of memories. A lot of people out there have a really hard time letting go. There's a lot of hoarders in our world. There's even TV shows about this stuff. They have a hard time letting go of what they once had. But when you're looking at yourself and you're thinking about a map and you hear about an, an event in the world, where does your mind tell you that event is? If it was a, if the event was in your side, inside, does it all add up? I believe it does to to a small percent. And somehow, like the mother who had the little boy come out all dressed up wrong, she told him that she loved him, and then she fixed the problem. You've got to fix the problem. If you hear something bad, you've got to find a way to fix it. That's why I said, if there's anybody out there that does have problems with in their body or a problem area on their body you can always refer to the feng shui chart clean up that area and that area on you should clean up too as above so below as in and as out all equals thank you